Hey guys, it is Crafty Awareness, and I'm back with a cash stuffing video. However, sadly, this is going to be a really uh, low cash stuffing video because it's the end of the month. I had bills to pay, um, so we will only be stuffing $155. Now, I will not be transferring any money to savings challenges because this week was actually a really good week for me when it came to my Etsy shop so no need to transfer any money so all of this money is going to be for my budget binders so we will be working with $155 so the cash breakdown is 10 ones for 10, 5 fives for 25, 3 tens for 30, 4 20s for 80 and 5 twos for 10 equaling 155 so let's get started and there will be some money I will be taking out because I did go shopping uh, this past week. So I will get into that when we uh, get to it. So let me arrange my binders in order. So for birthdays, because there's only six left on this a birthday challenge I will be doing two a week because I really want to finish this before next year so the lowest denominations on here is tens so I will be doing twenty dollars in birthdays So the new total is $150.72. So we are finally completing this Christmas challenge. We will be putting $18 in it. And let's see what the remainder total, because as you guys know, I already spent some of this Christmas money to buy gifts. So... Put in 18. Okay, so the remainder total after completing this challenge is $150.72. Two hundred and ten dollars out of five hundred fifty left of this Christmas challenge. So, oh, wow, that's a good amount of money. And hopefully, I don't need to spend any more money. But actually, since I bought my mom a third gift with that tech, that magnetic um, power bank, because I like to keep it fair when it comes to my family. So, if someone actually gets one more gift I gotta get everyone else an extra gift but most of the time I try to do like a stocking stuffer if I need to add another gift so I don't spend too much money okay so we will be skipping uh, graduations um, I'm not in a hurry to finish this uh, it's still months away because uh, my cousin I believe is graduating Gosh, I think it was like late May or June that she finally told us or early June. I don't know, but because she lives in California. So uh, we'll see. So student loans will get $20 as usual. So the new total in uh, student loans is 420 and actually just want to say in the last cash stuffing video I counted wrong. Um, there was another hundred that stuck to another hundred and I think I said like 320 but it was it's actually 420 plus the extra 20. So $440 in student loan. 
So reptiles, I will be skipping. And then months ahead, we'll get its usual $10. Because I would really like to have this money started beginning of next year. Even if it's just the first page completed, I would be really happy. Because that would cover a lot of like my prime my like other subscriptions that i have so uh 10 so the new total is 230 dollars in months ahead Okay, so taxes will get its regular 25. So taxes now has $125. So savings, we will be finally adding this last 15. So then the rest of the bars we have to complete is tens and fives. Okay, so the new total for savings is 100, 200, 50, 70, 80, 90, 300 dollars even. So I am super happy we completed this bottom bar. So we will not be stuffing any more in this binder, unfortunately. So now we're going to go to tech. And we're going to add $20 in this one. So now the new total is a hundred, two hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety, three hundred, ten, uh, three hundred and twelve dollars in tech. Okay, so we should have twenty seven dollars left. Um, I do want to stuff Scrap It Expo because it's coming up soon. I need to look up when exactly it's coming up. I know it's probably beginning of next year. So I do have $30 left. But I'm only going to put $10 in this envelope. Let's see. Okay, good. I have two fives here. Okay, so new amount is 150, 70, 80, 90, 200 dollars even. Wow, we're hitting a lot of hundreds. Really happy about that. Okay, um, we have 17 left. Actually, let's skip that. I know I'm almost there completing the scratch off envelope but um i usually do it at the end of like closer to either like around christmas time or well actually traditionally in our family my my parents would buy us scratch off um like the dollars and two dollar ones ever since we were kids so I, I will probably be doing my scratch offs around that time 
Um, I will be skipping coffee. I might go back to some of these envelopes if I can't decide. Okay, so we do need to take money out from Etsy because I did shop uh, during the Cyber Monday sale and I shopped from Janelle Ray Budgets. She had a 50 five zero percent off her shop can you believe that 50 percent off i had to jump on that so um i did spend i wrote it down i spent 39 dollars and 11 cents so we're gonna have to take out 40 dollars uh how much do we have here so we have a hundred and twenty dollars in etsy so, I believe my remainder will be 80 bucks. So, let me see. I might as well do that right now because the video is only like 10 minutes. So, because this is not going to be a long video. Because I really, I don't want to deal with it after the video. <laughs> so... And I need a 20. Oh, wait. I don't have any more 20s. So I have to do that anyways after. So I need to put another 10. Because it's going to drive me nuts if I don't put the um, amount. Okay, so there is $80. So I'm putting this 100 all the way in the back. You will not be stuffing Etsy, and I will, of course, be erasing. Or try to erase some of it. That's it. I'll, I'll do the rest later. I don't want to add any more additional time doing that. I'll do it later after this video. So, yeah. I have $80 left out of 180 um let's see so book fun this is the one so i think i'm gonna yeah i'm probably gonna go back to the other ones um <laughs> you guys so okay i went overboard let me count how much money is in here okay Okay, I got 55. <laughs> okay. I went overboard this past week or this current week. Um, yeah. Let me break this down. So, there is a website called Once Upon a Time a Book Club. Maybe some of you know what it is. If you don't, I will show you exactly what they do. I have a box right here next to me. So I did spend because it was BOGO guys. I'm I couldn't pass that up. It was BOGO. You I mean their boxes are like sixty dollars a piece. So that's a great deal. Buy one, get one free. I mean, hello. <laughs> so this is an example of one of their boxes. They have uh three different age range. Like there's young adult, which is this green one, and even though I'm like gonna be 35 next year i really don't care like if it's young adult or adult whatever the case is if, it, if the book sounds good to me or interesting i'm gonna read it i don't care about if it's young adult or whatever the case is but the green one is young adult and what i like about once upon a time of book club is that in the box besides the book itself like this box is the charmed list book okay so what i like about this website or this company is that um each page has a post-it and even on the items it says what page this item is because when you're reading and you get to that page there there will be like a sentence that will mention an item so it's like a hint of what you're going to get in whatever it's a if it's a box or if it's in a sachet or whatever the case is. And usually they put like three to I think the most they ever put in a box is five gifts, but average it's four gifts. So this one actually has four gifts. I haven't I haven't 
like started at all yet on this one I guys let me tell you I have like a total of five boxes that I have not read and on top of that I bought two more boxes or one I bought and one for free so that's seven boxes total <laughs> so yeah I really love this company um, because it's so different and it, you really feel you're immersed in the actual book that you're reading so even though it's a little pricey to me it's worth it it because I miss reading and that's what is nice or what helps me like continue to read is just opening those gifts and now where did my post it go is it in here yeah so I did buy from another company this is before once upon a time okay because I wasn't expecting once upon a time to have that great of a cyber Monday sale but owl crate is another company that does something similar but they don't wrap their gifts like they just put in these gifts that kind of relate to the theme and it's like here you go thanks for buying this box so i did buy two boxes they were 50 percent off guys their boxes were 50 percent. i bought one box for 20 and one box for like 16 bucks so the total that i spent was 60 44 because of shipping and tax so in total for books i spent 120 dollars <laughs> So I'm not buying any books, even though I have a whole list of books I really wanted to get this year. But I am going to have to wait another freaking year because <laughs> that is a lot of money for books. So um, I need a calculator. Okay, it's only 17 minutes. So we have, so I spent 120 minus 55 so I need to take $65 out from somewhere and I will I'm not gonna stuff this one at all maybe starting next week I gotta erase that I'll erase that later so I gotta take 65 from I'm thinking of hobbies that's the only place I can think of that I need to take money from because in a way reading books is a type of hobby so 50 70 94 okay I have enough so 94 minus 65 so I have $29 left <laughs> um, in hobbies but that is okay I chose to do that um, so I need a $10 Okay, so now there is $29 in hobbies, and that's going to irk me so bad because this challenge is $25 each icon, which I need to fix. Ugh, but, okay, anyways, back to the cash stuffing. We have $17 left. I think I'm just going to put all of it in tech because um, I really, like, my birthday is, like, around the corner. My, my birthday is March 2nd, so I really want to get that iPad Pro uh, so 17 so 10 two of these phones and then a watch and we're not even gonna well actually I do need to count it I really didn't want to count it but let's count, okay, 250, um, this was 300 even, right? No, 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 okay, 250, 70, 90, 300, it was 312, okay. So, 312 plus 17 is, okay, so the new total is 
$329 in tech. So I'm not even going to stuff it in the envelope because I'm going to be like rearranging and taking out bills and stuff like that because that's what I usually do after recording. But that is the cash stuffing of this video. <laughs> I really hope I don't spend any more money. I mean, unless it's for gifts, which I'm likely going to be have. I, I, I'm going to have to do that. So anyways, um, and also I just want to thank for those who bought from my shop these past two days it's been really crazy for me um i had a huge order uh thank you lisa for buying three of my kits um you really put me to work this morning <laughs> on my day off so um that was enjoyable um but yeah thank you guys for loving the new kit um i, I i'm loving the reaction uh, thank you guys for um, supporting my channel and please continue to watch and like and for those of you who are um, new please subscribe to my channel if you're interested and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next savings challenge video and I am currently working on something new because you guys love that kit so much um, I'm thinking of adding something additional to it We'll see. But see you guys next time. Bye.